Tell us about uh, this rudder here that's came off of this thing. What sort of fabric and damage has it had over the years? Well, this is a really interesting artifact, and uh, in some ways, it's it's kind of shows the type of damage that uh, the rest of the B-17 uh, would have, not only from the original attack, which brought the airplane down, but subsequent damage that was done to it during its retrieval and uh, later storage. So you've got a lots of different types of anomalies here that will ultimately need to be uh, repaired if this thing were to be put back in a restored condition. The neat thing about this particular airplane is that there were pieces of the original fabric which at that time was AAA cotton. And uh, the reason that they covered these surfaces with fabric was to eliminate flutter from the control surfaces. They hadn't yet figured out a way to eliminate flutter at that time. And so the fabric on these control surfaces, though the rest of the airplane was made out of metal, the fabric acted as a kind of an aerodynamic shock absorber, I guess you could say. And its movement dampened out that uh, flutter issue. And there are fragments of that fabric still in place trapped underneath these access panels. These access panels you can take off and there's little fragments left that we can pull out and see the original color. And we can match that to a paint chip and try to match the color. We'll just clean it with the distilled water and uh, see how close the match That's we can right. Take. It's a great resource that you've got here, Paul, because uh, most of the fabric is gone. And having this trapped away from light, the, the ultraviolet didn't break down uh, the color pigments that were still on the original fabric. And uh, you know what color they are?